right, so looking back to the last game, what did Avery do, do so good as a passer that you liked? Well, there's quite a few things that he did really well. Is I think he got through his progressions extremely well. I thought that he saw um, the coverage pre-snap. Uh, I thought that he played uh, very fast. And then um, throughout the course of the game, especially on that fourth down and that defensive end got a little bit of a jump on Andrew Linegang for him to have the ability to keep the play alive, keep his eyes downfield was uh, um, just a fantastic job. And I thought he was extremely accurate. As you guys looked, there were quite a few times on third downs that we threw under the chains. And it's that accuracy that allows us to be more efficient with the uh, run after the catch. You mentioned Andrew Lundgang, and I know he's primarily one of the backup offensive guards, but for him to be able to play right tackle at such a high level in that game, and how much, I guess, do you cross-train a guy like that to be able to play right tackle during the offseason? Yeah, um, Andrew Lundgang, we're very fortunate to have Andrew, you know, because he cross-trains at from time to time at left tackle. He'll cross-train at left guard, at right guard, at right tackle, and even play center. So. Um, there's a variable and, and uh, you know, I think what was more impressive is probably the fact that you look back at the previous week um, when when Carver did come out for a period of time uh, that Andrew Linegang was able to go in without doing as much cross training. Andrew was prepared for that, but it's it really is about that mentality of next man up and let's not balk, and whether it's in the middle of the game on the road or he gets called into his first start. So for Andrew Linegang, what he's meant to us, and for him to get his first start, he's played a lot of football for us, but that was pretty special, and I know that the other guys were uh, pretty damn excited for him. How close is Braden Lofton, or is he ready now? Yeah, I'd say that, you know, I'd, I'd say that he's ready. Now, how close, how much are we going to utilize him? Um, he's been out a significant period of time. And uh, I do foresee him uh, being very available and being a part of things on Saturday. But what is that rep count? Is it going to be 25? Probably not. Uh, you know, and that's just, you know, based on some of his conditioning, based on protecting him, based on him continuing to progress and knocking a little bit of the rust off. But uh, we're excited to get Braden back uh, in the mix. The Kansas defensive backs are probably some of the best in the Big 12. What do you see from, I guess, that secondary and those cornerbacks in particular? Well, the number one thing is they're experienced. And, and I know that the coach has talked about it is you look at some of the faces back there and you're like, holy cow, um, we've been playing these guys for quite a long time. And not only from their athleticism, not only from um, the ability standpoint, because they are an extremely talented group, but you look at the experience that they have. You know, they've seen they've seen route patterns before. They they have the ability to to do some things that maybe um, typical defensive backs aren't 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 able to do just because of that experience, because of the amount of football that they played. And um, I have a tremendous amount of respect for that coaching staff. I think they do a phenomenal job. And uh, it's just not the defensive backs. It's it's the entirety of their defense. I think is going to present quite the challenge for us come Saturday night. How encouraging was it to kind of put on as many points as you did last week without really a running game? Yeah, I, I think it was encouraging to say that we had the ability to, you know, to throw the football. And, and I know that that's kind of the big talk about the running game, and we didn't get in a very good rhythm. And there's a number of different, different reasons as to why we did not get in that great rhythm. But uh, for us to have the ability, we didn't, you know, Avery didn't have, I believe, one – one carry in that game, whether it be a sack, whether it be a cold run, whatever the case might be. Um, but to see the versatility of our offense, to see how expansive it has come, and, and to see the growth, uh, not only of Avery, but of our wide receivers, our tight ends, I think that was pretty exciting for us and, and shows that, uh, um, uh, that we can do multiple different things within our offense in order to uh, be productive. With that being said, do we need to be better in the run game, especially early on? Absolutely we do. And uh, that message was sent loud and clear to the guys up front. I know we've talked about this before, but you got four tight ends now who have caught multiple touchdown passes mm -hmm. this season. Is that how far down have you had to, you know, look into your bag of tricks to pull that out, or has it been pretty easy to get them looks? Well, it's it's you know I think it's a credit a little bit in some situations that uh, um, you know when you have the guys in the backfield that you have it creates opportunities. It creates opportunities within the play action game and it creates opportunities 
um, uh, quite often for those tight ends, especially when you look, you know, we're getting into the red zone. When we get in the red zone, we want to have that efficiency. Um, you know, you can see that's, I don't think it's any big secret, that's where a lot of their productivity is coming. So uh, the, the fact of that, you know, that there's multiple, I can't say that that was by design that, you know, we're all smart enough coaches to say that this, we need this guy to get to, this guy to get to, this guy to get to. It's about a group of young men who buy into one another um, and who capitalize on the, on the moments that they have. The coolest, one of the coolest moments of that game is when Will made that touchdown reception and you look at that throw that Avery made on that particular play, that was a phenomenal, phenomenal flow, uh, throw, got flushed out. And, uh, um, but look at the reaction of uh, uh, Garrett Oakley and Will Swanson. And, and that tells you a lot about uh, this football team and it tells you a lot about that position group. And I thought it was, I thought it was awesome. Maybe you guys didn't see it. Maybe it's just something on our film, but it's something that we most definitely pointed out.